What about foreclosure? I started getting a lot of people asking me, it's like, hey, do you see more foreclosures? And it's funny that this topic keeps coming back. And then uh, people kept telling me that they really think they're going to start finding more foreclosures. I would say that in the residential market, we're probably not going to see as much, although commercial real estate market, that's a different story that probably we can talk about it at a next webinar. But for residential market, I really don't think that we're going to see a lot of foreclosures. Here is a California in terms of ranking. We are still at the bottom. We are only 1.8% delinquency, 0.1% foreclosure, and 1.9% non-current. And the year over year change in the non-current actually is at negative 10.1%. That was last month's report. And then this month, we'll see that delinquency percentage is at 2% and foreclosure percentage is at 0.2%, non-current at 2.2%, and the year-over-year -year change in non-current percentage is negative 15.9%. So as you see that when we are comparing this year and last year, December 22 report, if you compare the number, we're actually doing slightly better because we have less non-current percentage in California. And what about the loan counts and average days delinquency? In terms of nationally, we see that we have 52 million active count of loans. And then there are 30 days delinquency, which is around 900 loans that are delinquent. And then there are 60 days delinquency. There are about 287,000 of them. And 90 plus days, there are about 580,000 loans that are delinquent. And in terms of like foreclosure start, there are about 32,000 and foreclosure sales completed is 6,958, which means as you see that it compared to all the other numbers is actually quite low. But I know we hear on the news that they, they would tell us like, oh my God, the foreclosure has gone up like by a pretty big percentages. I think that's what, because they were comparing from 2020 to 2021, we had these uh, moratorium that not foreclosed and on a lot of loans at the time. So when it kind of kicked back up, you see that the jump from 2,900 loans to 4,781 loans to 6,000, that percentage seems really high. But if you're really looking at the numbers compared to what it was back in even 2004, we're still way, way, way below what the numbers were in 2004. And of course, it's, it's not even close to the numbers in 2008 to maybe 2012 and 13. So just kind of want to show you that how we really don't think that we're going to have a huge surge of foreclosure in the residential market.